this video we're going to look at question 5 from tutorial 5 on page 19 of the course notes. So and this is a, a question about uh, angular motion. So we're given some information in the question, we're given the initial speed and the, the final speed or velocity and the time, I'm asked to find the angular acceleration and the revolutions turned in this time, so effectively the angular displacement. So like any other question, we'll start off by thinking about the information that we've been given. So we have our initial velocity of 150 RPM and our final velocity of 360 RPM. We're given the time, which is 30 seconds. And we know in this question, we're going to find alpha. We kind of don't know what that is. And theta how far we have traveled around in a circle in the flywheel. So let's have a look. Um, well, first things first, we've got a couple of um, quantities here in units, which are not our standard unit for calculation. Our velocities have been given in RPM. Now, if you remember from the course notes, um, to convert from uh, RPM into Rads per second, we've got this formula 2 pi n, where n is our velocity in RPM, divided by 60. So we can convert each of these to 2 pi times 150 divided by 60, and 2 pi times 360 divided by 60. Now here's one of these opportunities where we have um, the ability to keep working with pi in our number, because if we put this through and we don't multiply by the pi, we find that this is five times pi we're left with here, which we can just leave as it is, radians per second. And we find this is 12 pi here, radians per second. And the reason for doing so is because this is an exact value and we enter it into our calculator to solve the, the, the equations in our formulas. So let's <clears throat> think about what we've been asked to get here. Well, we've been asked to find alpha the acceleration and we do have an angular motion formula that has our two velocities of time and the acceleration in it. And it's this one here, omega two is equal to omega one plus alpha times time alpha being our angular acceleration. So we put in these values, we can leave, uh, again, leave them with pi, 12 pi is equal to five pi plus alpha, which we don't know, times 30. So a little bit of rearranging, 30 alpha, if we subtract 5 pi from both sides, we're left with 30 alpha is equal to 7 pi. And so alpha equals 7 pi over 30. And which if we put into our calculators, we're left with an answer of 0 0.733 radians per second squared. So that's the first part of this question. In the second part of the question, we're asked to find the number of revolutions turned in this time. Well, we're working in radians, so we're going to get our angular um, displacement in radians first of all, and then we'll be convert, converting back into revolutions. But let's start off with our formula for that. Now, there's a couple of formulas we can use, as we know from the course notes for angular displacement. But the one I'm going to use here is theta is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2 times t. And as I mentioned before in the course, I like to use a formula that doesn't rely on a previous calculation where possible. Sometimes the question is designed that we're deliberately going to be using something we've learned in the first part. But here we can use values we were given in the question. And again, keeping these pi values, we've got um, 5 pi plus 12 pi divided by 2 times 30, which is the same as 17 pi over 2 times 30, and multiplying that through, again, leaving the pi in, we've got 255 pi radians. Now, you would be quite right if you put this into your calculator, you'd be getting 700 and something um, radians. Um, I think it's actually 800 radians, the interim one radians, it comes out as you put the calculation in. But since we're not giving our answer in radians, there's no reason for us to, um, to deal with the uh, uh, decimal places. We can leave it as 255 pi just now, because what we'll be doing in our final step is converting this 
into revolutions because that's what the question's asked us for. So theta is equal to 255 times pi radians, and we want to convert this into revolutions. So let's think about conversion. Well, we've got the unit of radians and we want the unit of revolutions. And we want to get rid of radians here, so we put this on the bottom of our fraction over here. And then think about what is our conversion factor. Well, for every one revolution, we have two pi radians. And again, this is going to work a little bit nicely for us because our pi's are going to divide through, which means that um, to convert 250 pi radians into revolutions, we divide by two pi. So this gives us 255 pi divided by two pi revolutions. And we cancel out the pi's, divide 255 by two, we're left with 127.5 revs, which is what the question asked us to do. So asked us to find our angle acceleration, and we've done that. We found out that that was 0.733 radians per second squared. And we've asked to find the number of revolutions turned in the time, and it was 127.5, 127 and a half times round the fly we will go in that 30 second period. And that concludes the question.